everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about biodiversity, ecology, and art. Today I want to talk about an influential woman who helped preserve one of our most iconic national parks, Joshua Tree National Park. Her name is Minerva Hamilton Hoyt and she's someone we all should know about. Let me see. Show me. No. Show me. I'm spicy. <laughs> I'm sending this to honey. What? What? <laughs> In the early 1900s, Minerva Hamilton Hoyt became passionate about preserving the beauty of the California desert. She was inspired by the unique and stunning landscapes found in Joshua Tree, which was then known as Joshua Tree National Monument. After the death of her husband and son, she began to find solace in the desert and realized the rich biodiversity it had to offer. But she noticed that the area was being threatened by industrialization and urbanization. Hoyt knew that something had to be done to protect this special place for future generations. So Hoyt began advocating for the preservation of Joshua Tree National Park. She wrote letters to politicians, organized meetings, and worked with other passionate conservationists to raise awareness about the importance of protecting this natural wonder. She also became a board member of the Garden Club of America, where she advocated for the creation of national parks across the United States. She also went to horticulture shows in London, New York, and Boston, and made extravagant installations out of cacti, rocks, and sand, mimicking the actual desert, in an effort to raise awareness for this unique landscape and ecosystem. This was interesting to me because, like the developers, she dug up cacti, but with the intent to create a piece about their preservation. Here I'm beginning this abstract inspired by Joshua Tree National Park, building up the layers using washes of color. So I'm taking acrylic paint and adding water to it, putting it in a bowl or cup, and then just pouring it onto my canvas and kind of letting it move around and create new shapes and forms. It was due to the support she raised in these shows that she was able to form the International Desert Preservation League. And in 1936, Hoyt's efforts paid off. Joshua Tree National Monument was expanded and redesignated as a national park. This meant that it would be preserved for generations to come. Thanks to Hoyt's tireless advocacy, Joshua Tree National Park is now one of the most popular national parks in the country, and visitors from all over the world come to marvel at its unique beauty. So here I'm just using a large brush to kind of move the paint around and curate the shape a little bit more, and then I just let the paint kind of fall off the brush and make these little speckles and my intent with this part is to kind of create a desert landscape using this orange. I wanted to mimic the sand and these beautiful rock formations that Joshua Tree is so well known for and we actually had the amazing opportunity to be able to walk amongst the Joshua Trees and giant boulders ourselves back in December when we got to go on a two-day trip there. My favorite part about Joshua Tree is just how otherworldly it looks with these giant Joshua Trees. The trees are so lifelike and they have such unique characters for each one. I always love taking pictures of my friends and I kind of mimicking and pretending to be the trees because they're in such wild formations. But there's also such a sense of scale and the colors and textures of the desert are unlike anything else. So. Here we are on a hike overlooking Keys View, and this is a place that I have returned to time and time again just to see the beautiful Palm Springs Desert below and Mount San Jacinto in the background. And then here we are having a little impromptu dance party. We woke up very early for sunrise. Now my goal for the second layer here was just to add more colors and textures that I find in the desert, so I have this nice kind of rocky blue color for the shadow of the rocks. And I was just thinking about, not only is water precious to the desert, but it's also a really precious resource and commodity for the state of California, which has been in a drought for the past several years, and for most of my childhood, honestly. And then I'm adding in these green and other blue sections. And the green is supposed to represent the 
beautiful color of the Joshua trees and the wild ways that they move. And then I just took my big fan brush again and kind of moved it right through that blue to create the sense of water. we've talked a little bit about the biodiversity of Joshua Tree National Park, but let's really get into it now. So among the national park, there are 700 plant species, including cacti and succulents, wildflowers, desert palms, and hardy shrubs that are able to survive in this desert climate. These plants support the park's wildlife, uh, among them being 25 species of snakes, mammals such as bighorn sheep, ground squirrels, and coyotes, hundreds of migratory and resident birds, and thousands of species of insects and anthropods including tarantulas, fairy shrimp, scorpions, and more than 150 species of butterflies and moths. What may seem like a desert wasteland devoid of life at first is actually teeming with life in every little place you look. And that's what I wanted to capture in this painting here. So here you can kind of see all the little details I added in there. I used colored pencil on the bottom just to create kind of a frenetic line and then I put in some purple and then the green at the top is supposed to talk about the life that exists within the desert. So here's the final piece and as you can see it's a true abstract. I can turn it any way I so choose and it would work in any direction. What I really love about how this piece turned out is all the different textures that I was able to get in there and the color is super bright and vibrant and just like the vibrancy of the desert. So there you have it, the inspiring story of Minerva Hamilton Hoyt and her advocacy for the preservation of Joshua Tree National Park. Her dedication and hard work helped ensure that this natural wonder will continue to inspire and awe visitors for generations to come. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this month's video. I hope you enjoyed our story and liked the painting tips I shared. Don't forget to follow me on my other platforms on Instagram. You can find me at Zoe Thank you so much. See you next time.